What's good, YouTube? Lady Shadowthorn here. Got you back out here with a Wi Fi battle for you guys. This one's good against uh, actually a subscriber of mine, Lars. You know, I had it in a stream not too long ago. And uh, I'm using a very interesting team. He's using some interesting Pokemon. It was a pretty good battle, so, you know, I decided to upload it. You know, I was looking through my mat, uh, box. He said he wanted a mixed tier battle, you know, nothing too serious. So I was looking through here. I was like, you know what? I really want to use Diancie again. I haven't used it in a while, and I remember. Uh, Kasork gave me one, and I really like using Diancie, and I think it's a pretty neat Pokemon. And I got Diancie, and I saw Rock, and I was like, you know what? I haven't done a mono team in, like, forever. And everyone just completely destroys mono rock for being, like, the worst thing in the world. So, you know what? I'm gonna make a mono rock team. I'm gonna prove him wrong. I'm gonna make a mono rock team, and you see how well it does. And, uh, in hindsight, <laughs> looking at the team, it is legitimately terrible. I brought, like, three choice banded Pokemon. Because my Sudowoodoo's choice banded, my Tyran Tyranitar's choice banded, and my Terrakiana's choice banded. And then I have like a, uh, a set of Dragon Dance, um, Tyrantrum, you know, Rocks, Specially Offensive, uh, Diancie, and then an Aurorus. Because Aurorus is cool, right? Yeah, Aurorus is cool. Anyways, gonna be leading off my Sudowoodoo, just because uh, I feel it's the best lead I have for it. Uh, leads off a star after I kind of view this thing as a threat, not really sure what it wants to do. He's just gonna go straight away for close combat. That's fine by me. I do live because I have sturdy. And I'm just gonna pull out the uh, the choice bandit explosion. And I see the lower defenses. So I'm thinking to myself, you know, explosions based uh, 250 power, choice bandit, sudowoodoo, pretty powerful. Should be able to knock out the star after, and especially with the minus defenses. And uh, I do. So, uh, sort of a big boom to start off the match, which you know is pretty sweet. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Sorry about that. Anyways, it's gonna go out in the Klefki. I'm gonna go out my Terrakion. Not really sure what this Klefki wants to do. Well, I know exactly what this Klefki wants to do. It wants to two wave, it wants to set up spikes, it wants to set up screens and be annoying. So, he's gonna paralyze me. And I'm like, don't get paralyzed, don't get paralyzed, don't get paralyzed. Gonna go for a choice banded earthquake. Let's see how much it does. Um, I would just like, and then he gets paralyzed on top of it, not killing. So I would just remove this Terrakion promptly. Uh, I just actually stopped the battle. This is, uh, I just completely just said, you know, Terrakion, you're done. I, uh, immediately release this Terrakion after this battle, and, uh, we will never, ever, ever speak of this Terrakion ever again. So, yeah. How uh, that happens. Greninja comes in here, Greninja goes for uh, a Hydro Pump, knocks out my, uh, the, uh, the Pokemon in which I will never speak of, because, uh, I don't speak of it. Just dies. It's away. Go. Get out of my face. Don't want to see you ever again. Anyways, gonna go on to T-Tar now. Just feel, um, T-Tar is my best option, you know, get up the sand, get my special defense raise for my entire team. Uh, I'm not really sure what this, like, what this Greninja has to hit me up with, so, I do know he has, um, he has that Yon Mega, so I really didn't feel safe going for the an Earthquake. So it's like I risked the miss, went for Stone Edge, hoping it'll do a lot of damage. And uh, it does do solid damage, and if you're wondering why it seems to do so little, that would have been a knockout, but remember he did get up that Reflect early on in the match. So uh, that's why it seemingly did so little, but it actually did quite a bit, bit of damage. Anyways, anyways, uh, getting right back into the battle, gonna switch out, gonna go out into Bay. Bay's really light, so, you know, that Grass Knot does little to no damage. And, uh, I know because, uh, Diancie has high defenses, I can take one Hydro Pump. I'm not quite sure if I can take two yet, or how well I'll be able to take one, but I know I will be able to take one. So, honestly, I feel at this point in time, getting up rocks is gonna be pretty helpful, because, you know, he does have that, uh, Yon Mega. Remember, so, gonna get up rocks, and, uh, Bay does not take that Hydro Pump very well at all. And, uh, this Greninja is turning out to be a huge threat. I have nothing for it. Uh, I could have knocked it out, but then that uh, Yon Mega would have been a huge problem, so I really don't have anything for Yon Mega either, so I really did need to get in my rocks. And uh, yeah, I hoped for a miss. It didn't happen. Diancie dies. So uh, yeah, you did nothing, Diancie. Uh, good job. But anyways, Greninja's at a really low, 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 low range of HP. So I'm hoping my T-Tar at 69 HP can live a hit because, you know, T-Tar is uh, in the sand, but a uh, Grass Nut happens, and uh, T-Tar, being the uh, the fat Pokemon that it is, uh, it just dies. It's like, oh, a Grass, it's, it's the greatest weakness of uh, any Rock-type Pokemon is uh, tripping over a uh, 
a knot made of grass. It just completely knocks them out. Anyways, gonna go out into my uh, Tyrantrum now. Uh, I know I can dig one grass knot. Not sure how well again, but I am able to take it. And I do. I take it on 12 HP. And now I'm thinking, I get up at Dragon Dance, I'm like, alright, this is my chance for a comeback. I better outspeed this, um, this, uh, Greninja, or else I'm, I'm screwed, because my last Pokemon's Aurorus. And, uh, Aurorus can't take shit, because Aurorus is garbage. And it's, uh, it's NU for a reason. Anyways, I do outspeed, able to knock out the Greninja, so, you know, that's, that's good, that's cool. And, uh, so, you know, I'm gonna get a little bit more leftovers recovery, you know, I'm, I'm getting inching my way up there to the, uh, the yellow. As uh, he, he sends out in front of it, and I'm like, alright, I got my Dragon Dance boost up. Should be able to outspeed this thing, uh, clean house, any sashes, uh, potential sashes is broken, but no. Not, it's scarfed in front of it. It's a scarf. So, um, just get bopped with a close combat. And so now I have a chance. Not a very good one, but like I said before, I have a small chance. If my Aurora's can somehow live this incoming choice, uh, choice scarf close combat, roll HP. Because, you know, Aurora does have some decent HP. I can potentially, uh, with the minus two in special defense, uh, defense, I can knock it out with a dry attack, but no. Aurora just dies. Because Aurora is useless. And, uh, no one should ever use it. It, uh, definitely gets Blaze Shadowthorn's stamp of disapproval. Which, uh, I don't really give to a lot of Pokemon, but, uh, this one I'm giving it. So, you know, that was, uh, that was a good game. Lars, you know, I got a 3 0 you know. But even if I was somehow able to live the, the close combat with Aurorus and knock it out, he still has priority in the form of Aqua Jet, uh, Crowdon, so I still lost this game. But, you know, still, it's a pretty good game, so hopefully if you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and a comment, you know. And Lars, if you have a channel, don't know if you upload or not, but, uh, you know, definitely comment down on this video, and I will link you your channel in the description. And, you know, check him out. And, uh, stuff. Like that, so you know, that's uh, it for me, you know, thank you all for watching, and I will see y'all later. Bye.